Tokyo to Tacoma payload capacity isn't what they say it is. We're going to run through the numbers. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, Toyota Tacoma payload capacity isn't what they say it is. Now, the first place that you should look if you're concerned about payload capacity, and you should be, you know, those trips to pick up a load of mulch, maybe some dirt, some stones. I've done it. That's where they pull that bobcat up to the back of your truck, lift it up in the air, and then boom, dump it down. I've watched it many times. You see the whole back of the truck go boing. Always worries me about the suspension back there. And you should be worried because if you're under warranty, and you do something like that and overload the truck, they're not gonna cover it. It's gonna be your problem. But first off, you need to look inside the door of your truck. You need to see if you have one of these yellow stickers. Because if you do, your payload capacity has been reduced. Mine actually says that the load carrying capacity has been reduced due to modifications by 33 pounds. So right off the bat, I can carry 33 pounds less than what they, they is Toyota by the way, says that I can carry because of modi modifications that were added. In this case, I think it was the side steps that were on the truck, which I've removed. So I actually increased the payload capacity by 33 pounds in doing that. But let's take a look at the numbers. First of all, what are the capacities for the Toyota Tacoma, the different trim levels? Well, the SR and the SR5 is 1,685 pounds. Now, that's what I have back here, it's an SR5. And that's what we're gonna base the rest of these numbers on. But if you have a TRD Sport, it's 1,525 pounds. The TRD Off-Road, 1,395 pounds. Less, of course, whatever that yellow sticker may say, if you have one inside your door. So. Let's look at mine. Starts out at 1,685 pound payload capacity. Now, you have to reduce that by whatever mods you add to the truck, because of course the truck is now carrying those around too, as well as you and any passengers that you might have inside. So let's look at my example, my truck. I've got a roll bar, or a sport bar on there. You can see right there, that thing weighs 114 pounds, pretty heavy for a roll bar, I guess, but not really functional. That's why they call it a sport bar because it's just aluminum. Next up is the bed mat, which is the Toyota OEM. In this case, it's gonna vary if you go with something else. You can see it right down there. That thing weighs 29 pounds. Then, you have to look at your spare tire. Don't forget about your spare tire, particularly if you've added an aftermarket version that weighs a little bit more. Spare tire weight, right around 50 pounds. That's the tire and the wheel, give or take. We're going with 50 for a nice round number. The total of all of that on my truck is 193 pounds. Now, we have to take into account what you weigh the driver, and if you have anybody else in the truck with you. We're gonna assume that it's just you. I'm gonna round up 200 pounds for me. I actually don't weigh 200 pounds, about 181. But for sake of round numbers, we're gonna move it up a little bit, 200 pounds. So the total on there, adding everything together is 393 pounds that I have reduced the weight or the payload capacity of my truck. Now. I'm gonna round that up to 400 pounds, again, just for the sake of round numbers. So if we take the original payload, what Toyota stated it to be, of 1,685 pounds, take away the 400 pounds that equates to the mods and me, we end up with 1,285 pounds of payload capacity. That's what I can safely put in my truck without exceeding the manufacturer's recommended specs, if you will. Obviously, those numbers would change based upon whatever you might have in your truck, and if you're carrying someone else with you, uh, the weight would go down or up, it just depends. So what does that mean, real world? 
Well, let's talk about mulch. Let's say you're going to pick up some mulch at the Lowe's, the three cubic foot bags. Now, they're the rather large bags, but hey, when I'm picking up mulch, I wanna handle one bag as much as I can so I can get it done, right? That would be 43 bags of mulch. Not too bad, actually. I, don't, I think the most I ever put in my Tacomas was 50. Now, obviously, I would have been overloaded in this truck, but about 50 bags. Um, what about going and picking up bulk stuff? You know, they typically load that with a bobcat, the scoop that I was talking about in the beginning that they put up in the air and then slam it down into your truck. Bobcat scoop of topsoil is about 1,100 pounds. Now, obviously, this is going to vary. It depends on how wet it is. But as an average, we're going to go with about 1,100 pounds. So you can fit about one scoop, maybe a little bit more, maybe it's a little bit wetter in the back of your Toyota Tacoma, given the setup that I have safely. How about some stone? You know, if you're going to pick up a load of stones, one scoop, and again, depends on how the size of the stones, the composition, all that, but as an average, it's about 1,500 pounds. Now you're actually exceeding the payload capacity, or I would be, in my truck. That could be a problem if I broke something. Again, if you go to the dealership and claim that you have a problem and you did nothing, they're probably gonna know. You better clean that bed out well, and you better make sure there's no scratches and scrapes in it from stones or maybe dirt or whatever, because they're gonna know. Obviously, you could try to get by with it. If something breaks, take it in and say you went over some railroad tracks and uh, the suspension snapped. I don't know why it happened. It's your fault, fix it, it's under warranty. Depends on the dealership in that case. Hopefully uh, you'll get by with it. So anyway, I thought it was just kind of interesting because I've had occasions in the past where I've gone to pick up things like mulch and topsoil, both bulk and in bags. And uh, I always wanted to know what the weight capacity was. You know, typically you ask the folks, if you think about it, at the shop or the store or whatever, your, the garden center, I guess, that you're going to pick this stuff up. And generally, they know pretty much what it's gonna be. Of course, they can't calculate the moisture content. If it just rained and you're picking up bags of mulch that were sitting outside and are soaked, obviously you might be a little bit higher and not be able to get quite 43 bags. So leave a comment, let me know. Do you even think about these things when you take your Tacoma to pick up big, heavy things like that? Or do you just take a leap of faith and hope that it can handle it and that you aren't gonna have any issues? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator, and Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks, currently the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay underweight out there. Bye.